Right, skiers and boarders are looking forward to some fresh snow in the mountains this weekend. So we have Ashton, who is live at Union Station, where the ski train is departing for the first day of the season. Ashton, good morning. Good morning to you, Britt. Hey there, Alan. Happy Friday. The Winter Park Ski Train is back. I'm in an area that's usually filled up with luggage. This is the same train that they use for the California Zephyr that goes all the way from Chicago to Oakland, California, and comes through Denver. But for this ski train, of course, this area is going to be filled up with skis and snowboards. I want to talk to Jen Miller. She's with Winter Park Resort. Good morning to you, Jen. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. It's an exciting morning. The first day for the ski train every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now all the way through March. All the way through March 29th. Yes. All right. Yes. So we are just now starting to see skiers and riders showing up. We got all these volunteers out here showing everybody where to go. There's going to be hundreds of people on the train today. Yeah. Departs at seven. What time does it actually get to Winter Park? It gets to Winter Park about nine o'clock, and it drops you off right at the base, so you can just grab your skis and get on the chair almost immediately. That's right. You're closer to uh, the lifts than you are if you actually park at Winter Park, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> you are. You All are. Right. For so sure. the, the trip back uh, leaves at, uh, Winter Park at 4 30, yep. but you don't necessarily have to come back the same day that you go up there, right? There's flexibility. Right. There's a lot of flexibility. You can take uh, you can take whatever train you want up any day of the week or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then return um, any one of those days as well, even a week later. That's right. Come back tomorrow. Come back next weekend. Those are all options. Uh, the tickets are sold at Amtrak.com. They start at 29 bucks. You can go to Winter Park's website as well. All the details, of course, there online. And still plenty of tickets to find your train up to Winter Park. Why sit in all that I-70 traffic? I mean, who really wants to do that? Plus, you can nap on the way home. You can nap on the way Can't home. Can't nap on the way home if you're driving. You cannot. At least we don't recommend it. Let's go back to Ashton. <laughs> Live at Union Station, the ski train gets rolling today. Ashton. Yeah, that's right. It's such a great tradition here in Colorado. The ski train dates all the way back to 1940. It ran for decades, and then it got suspended in 2007 until a few years ago when Amtrak teamed up with Winter Park, the resort, to bring the ski train back. It's now called the Amtrak Winter Park Express, and I have Mark here with me from Amtrak. Good morning to you, Mark. It's an exciting morning. It's our fourth season, and each season gets a little bit better and a little bit bigger. We're going to have almost 200 people leaving today. We're down to the last 75 seats for tomorrow. So it's going to be busy, busy, busy every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from now till the end of March. We're in the Sightseer lounge car, and you were telling me earlier this is really because skiers and riders wanted this car. It's got the windows that go from floor to ceiling, so you can see the incredible mountain views on the two hour ride up. And it's open seating, so you can get seated in the coach car, and then you can step in here, see the views, go back, or even try to get as far as you can. But when we get to Moffat Tunnel, get back to your seats because as soon as we pop out of the tunnel we are at the resort and you want to get to the snow and the fun as quickly as you can you know the, the ride up is almost as fun as the skiing for a lot of folks 31 tunnels on the trip up to winter park it's really really cool tickets you said start at 29 bucks and you can get those at amtrak.com right and winter park resort also has a link to it the 29 dollar tickets are more available on a sunday morning than they would be on a saturday morning but there's lots of tickets available we don't have any sold out days yet but my fingers are crossed we're going to have some all right very good mark from amtrak thanks so much for talking Talking with us, train departs Union Station right here at 7 a.m. sharp every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until the end of March. The skiers and the snowboarders are up early this morning, already boarding the train. Okay, all aboard, Ashton L. Thierry, what's up? Yeah, that's right. All aboard. The train leaves at 7 o'clock this morning. You mentioned skiers and snowboarders, but there's also some other folks going up to do some other activities. Uh, we've got uh, Lynn here with us. What are you doing this morning when you get up to Winter Park? Uh, snowshoeing. Snowshoeing. There you go. And why take the train? Just because it's better than driving? Correct. And you don't have to worry about driving and, you know, and it's uh, can relax and read a book. Or yeah. my laptop. Or... Right. <laughs> and you can take a nap on the way back down if you want to. Absolutely planning on it. Can't do that if you're driving. <laughs> She shouldn't. <laughs> Have fun up there today, ladies. Yeah, good morning to you. The ski train leaving Union Station here in just a little bit, nine minutes, because this thing will leave at 7 a.m. sharp. Ski train, of course, a tradition for so many skiers and riders in Colorado. Takes you between Denver and Winter Park, and uh, there's a train up and a train back down every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until the end of March. And on the train this morning will be Sherry Ott. She's a travel blogger. You do adventures all across the world. Yeah. Today, your adventure is up to Winter Park. Yes, and I can't wait because I've never taken the train up there. Yeah, this is exciting. You're 
you're not actually going to ski or snowboard when you get up there. You're doing something a little different today. You're right. I'm snowshoeing. I'm not a skier. I'm one of the few people who aren't skiers, but I'm no, really excited. I met a couple other people on the train just a few <laughs> moments ago. They're going to snowshoe as well, so you'll have friends today. Yes, you can do all kinds of great stuff up there, I it, hope. It's such a great experience to take the train instead of driving up, right? It's better for the environment. Exactly. The views are amazing. You don't have the stress of being on I-70. It's just a good time. I know, and I get to like, sit back and have coffee while the train goes through all the tunnels. I'm excited. I can't right. wait. And if we want to check out your blog, it's otsworld.com. And you said you're going to be running the Colorado Instagram channel yeah. today as well? Visit Colorado Instagram channel. This is going to be on there. So. All right. I bet there'll be some cool pics there later on today. Yeah. All right. Well, have fun up in Winter Park. Thank you. That's right. All aboard. The ski train leaves at 7 o'clock this morning. This is the Amtrak Winter Park Express. Skiers and riders already getting on the train. This is Ellis and her dad, Jason. Good morning to you. Is this Good your first morning. time on the ski train? No. You've done this before. You're an old pro. Yeah. Are you going to be skiing or snowboarding today up at Winter Park? Skiing. Skiing. All right. Dad, you excited about this? I am. It's great. This is always a wonderful time. She loves trains, and we love to get out. It's better than uh, the traffic on I-70, right? It's a lot better. It's absolutely true. Ride instead of drive. That's what it's all about. So the ski train uh, departs from Union Station every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning through the end of March. Comes back at 4.30, but you don't have to take the train back the same day you go up. You can stay up there as long as you want.